Want to know how you can visit your doctor while on the lockdown, quarantine, or isolation? I got you. Hi, I'm Carlette, your guide to a digital lifestyle with tech tips for everyday challenges. And in this video, we'll help you learn more about telemedicine and how to access it. So basically, telemedicine is the remote delivery of healthcare services, such as health assessments or consultations over the phone or online. Like food and grocery home delivery, telemedicine was a thing long before the COVID-19 pandemic. However, its application has undoubtedly increased in recent months and with good reason. Telemedicine allows doctors to evaluate potentially contagious patients outside of the healthcare center. There is no need to underscore how important it is to isolate potentially infected patients. This sentiment has been echoed repeatedly by healthcare officials. If you feel sick, stay home and call before you visit a doctor's office, clinic, or hospital. Now, stepping away from the context of the new coronavirus for a moment, if we can, telemedicine also has the advantage of saving a commute, a long stint in a waiting room, and by extension, time and money. <laughs> the advantages don't stop there. Telemedicine also gives patients access to the best doctors, even if the best doctor is on the other side of the island or the other side of the world. All of a sudden, a specialist becomes accessible or an urgent situation at a remote location can be handled by a professional. Telemedicine is also great for reviewing your lab results with your healthcare provider or requesting a prescription refill without having to go to the office. Believe it or not, using telemedicine, doctors can even offer, ready for this, mental health and physical therapy to their patients. In short, telehealth platforms facilitate increased access to healthcare. On the flip side, all the technology in the world can't replace the human touch. You can take that literally or figuratively. You can decide. <laughs> Following a telemedicine session, it may still be necessary for you to make an in-person visit to your physician. Or maybe you just prefer the rapport of a physical face-to-face -face visit. Of course, the limitations of technology could render it impossible to effectively and properly diagnose some illnesses. Mm. Pros and cons aside, telemedicine provides a necessary and often useful option for in-person visits. Now, if you already have a primary care physician, check with them to find out if they offer a telemedicine platform. And the time to do that is today, as you never know when you might need an emergency consultation. So my son's pediatrician, Dr. Lisa Franklin Banton, has a boss telemedicine platform, and I'm glad I set it up and I accessed it when I did. Don't ask. <laughs> anyway, moving on. If you're shopping around for a doctor, you can use a service such as MD Link. The platform connects doctors from across the Caribbean region for online appointments. Now, be sure that you check out the credentials and the reviews of the doctors that are available and then pick one that's right for you. For me, video would be the best option for a patient doctor interview, but telemedicine also facilitates contact via audio or text message. Telemedicine service providers often can provide electronic prescriptions or prescription refills and send that prescription directly to your pharmacy. Generate a doctor's note for school or work. They can offer general medical advice or they can order or review lab results. Whether you are logging on with your family doctor or using a service to find a new doctor, keep security in mind and expect that your session will be recorded. Now, even if your doctor doesn't record the session, you should. Once you've booked your appointment, but before it starts, make sure to test your equipment, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop computer with a webcam. Check out your lighting and your internet connection. Set up the camera at eye level and consider using headphones for the best possible audio. Gather all your prescriptions, your lab reports, and other relevant information, and have your healthcare card and importantly, credit or debit card on hand. Finally, be on time. While in the session, pay close attention and don't expect to chit chat with your doctor as likely they have another patient waiting after you. Be sure to take notes about any necessary aftercare. 
telemedicine won't replace all visits to the doctor's office, clinic, or hospital, but especially now, it provides a well-needed alternative. You got this. Please share this video with a friend who you think would find this information useful. And you can always visit my website at www.carletdelion.com for more helpful videos. Or if you like, tune in to Radio Jamaica live every Wednesday morning at 8.15 for Tech for Life.